Now in this lesson we work on wages and salaries. Now for the purpose of these questions we're going to treat one year is equal to 52 weeks, one year is also 12 months, and one fortnight is equal to two weeks. So that information there, you'll need to commit that to memory because you'll often be using those for any conversions. Let's look at some examples. The first one, we need to find Marie's weekly wage if she is paid $8.94 per hour for a 28 hour week. Now the wage then, she's getting $8.95 per hour, that means every hour, and she's working for 28 hours. So simply we multiply 894 times 28, we calculate, we get $250.32. The second question, Andrew gets paid $478.80 for a 38 hour week. What is his hourly rate? Now the hourly rate simply means how much pay is he getting per hour. So if he's getting 478.80 for the week, he's working 38 hours, well this time we'll divide. So 478.80 divided by the 38, and we do that calculation, he gets $12.60 per hour. Our third example, of the following workers, who earns the most? All right, we've got Andrew who earns 37,600 per annum. Okay, PA, per annum, means per year. Brian, who earns $3,149 per month. Christine, earning $1,485 per fortnight. And finally, Dinko, who works 36 hours a week at $19.70 per hour. We can see all four of these, all right, we're, we're given the amounts they earn at different rates of time. If we look at the first one, $37,600 per annum. So in other words, the annual income there is the $37,600. We're going to work out the annual income for the other three as well, so then we can compare properly. So Brian's getting $3,149 per month. There are 12 months in the year, so we're going to multiply that by 12, and that works out to be $37,788. Now the annual income for Christine, well she's getting $14.85 per fortnight. Now we know there are 52 weeks in a year. If we have 52, we get 26. 26 fortnights in a year, that's also very useful to know. So we're going to multiply the $14.85 by the 26. We get $38,610. Finally, Dinko. Well, at the moment, we still need to work out something before we can get to the annual income. He's working for 36 hours a week and getting $19.70 per hour. So the weekly income is $19.70 times the 36, works out to be $709.20. Now the annual income then, well, that's his weekly income. There are 52 weeks in the year, so we're going to multiply by the 52, end up getting $36,878.40. Now, because we now have all four annual incomes, now we can compare them. And we can see that Christine comes out on top there, $38,610. So there we have it. Christine is the answer to the question.